podcast fantastic geeks and where to find them to uh sort some fantastic beasts something that's been requested a few times we do sorting on the podcast all the time thought it would make sense yeah good for a video because you also are gonna get the visual <laughs> yeah yeah you can see the beast are you ready to sort some non-human creatures yes i'm ready santa let us <laughs> sort first up the thunderbird Ooh. okay frank frank well thunderbird but i'm just thinking of frank i know we're not sorting frank specifically <laughs> wings Bird. Storms. Horse. Wilds like. of Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> Warm, dry, but storms. Brave adventure. Well, are we going with- I don't know, right? The qualities of the Ilvermorny house, do those come from the creature or? I feel like it would a little bit, right? Yeah. Cause I just want to say Gryffindor. I do too, because also he did a brave thing and saved everyone, saved the day. Gryffindor's always like at the last minute, saved the day. So. Nah, it's Gryffindor. Gryffindor! Gryffindor! Neasel. Okay, so Neasels are kittens. Crookshanks. Crookshanks. Crookshanks is half Neasel. Oh, right. I love They're that. really great at sussing out suspicious people. They know mm. when people are up to no good, they can sniff it out. They know when you're up to no good, but is it in like a noble Gryffindor way or like? Right. I think of it as like detective, like Ravenclaw. Okay. Does Crookshank seem Ravenclaw though? Crookshank seems more Gryffindor. Oh, really? To me. We can make measles Ravenclaws. I think that makes sense. Begrudging agreement. <laughs> Ravenclaw. No, that's good. Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Next up, Niffler. Oh, hello, little sneaky boy. Nifflers like to steal shiny things. Ah. <laughs> Steals your engagement ring. Oh yeah, you would really want that, wouldn't you, Niffler? Oh my gosh, wait, Newt better not get engaged. Oh my gosh, he goes to propose and then Nif Oh, that's gonna happen. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he like can't find the ring and he's like, oh wait, uh, it's oh, here wow. somewhere. Absolutely happening. I feel like Nifflers are Slytherins because they're very cunning in the mm -hmm. way that they mm -hmm. are tricksters. Mm -hmm. They're kind of like one track mind, like yeah. mission, complete mission. Very like swipe or no swiping. <laughs> Slytherin! A demiguys. Ooh. Invisible babysitters who see in the future? Ooh. I would say Ravenclaw just because they seem like very intelligent animals and also like- Cause it looks old and wise? Well, yeah, that too. It looks like some old wise man. Actually, let's check Fantastic Beasts <laughs> and where to find them and see what their like key description Through of demiguys the textbook. is. textbook. Remus, what do you think? Wow, all the dragons. Found in the far east. Though only with great difficulty for this beast is able to make itself invisible when threatened and can be seen only by wizards skilled in its capture. Okay, the pelts are highly valued as the hair can be spun into invisibility cloaks. That's cool. Whoa. That's cool. That's awesome. But it doesn't say much about like their wants and needs. Are and, like, all demi guys caretakers or was that one demi It might have just been that one. Ooh. But. That sounds more like a raven claw to me in yeah. the description. Raven claw. Yes. Your baby boy, Bojangle. Oh, Picket and all his Pick little friends wicked. in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> They're great at picking locks and yeah. stuff like that. So that's that's very smart. Um, that's a very intelligent beast. But also like sweet. They seem yeah, like but sweet little boys. Maybe that was just Picket because the other ones were like bullying him. <laughs> As a whole, they're like Slytherins and then Picket's just a little puff. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's true. Picket could be different than the rest of them. I feel like a Slytherin would know how to pick a lock. Absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, the bow chuckle is a peaceable and intensely shy creature. But if the tree in which it lives is threatened, it has been known to leap down upon the woodcutter or tree surgeon attempting to harm its home and gouge at their eyes with its long, sharp fingers. An offering of wood lice will placate the bow chuckle long enough to let a witch or wizard remove wand wood from its tree. That's Slytherin for sure. It's like you protecting the home. Yeah, you threaten my family. It's on, gouge your eyes. That's also such a Hufflepuff thing too true, though. True, true. That's and it's true. peaceable and shy. Also, oh yeah, the shy thing. Yeah, I think the lock thing really makes it more Slytherin-y because it's just like a skill that a Slytherin would know, like instinctively. Yeah, it's their bored knowing how to pick locks, you know? <laughs> okay. Slytherin! Slytherin! Whether you like it or not, pick it, you're Slytherin. Aw, and Pickett doesn't feel like he belongs in Slytherin. He's a little like, 
like albas or scorpions. Yeah. Like, a rumpant. It was very sweet. Yeah, yeah, sweet. It looked worse than it was on the inside. Will not attack unless sorely provoked, but should it charge, the results are usually catastrophic. That sounds like a Hufflepuff. That does. <gasps> The horn contains a deadly fluid which will cause whatever is injected with it to explode. That's what happened to the tree. Oh, uh huh, right. Hufflepuff. Yeah, Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff! So that's why Arumpit was like really attracted to Newt. It's like, oh, fellow Puff, yes, please. <gasps> moon calf? I don't know like anything about these moon calves. Me neither. Except they're like make little boop noises. They're just real cute. They look like llamas. <laughs> Intensely shy. Mm hmm. Okay. Emerges from its burrow only at the full moon. This sounds like Ravenclaw. Keep going. <laughs> we only emerge at the full moon. <laughs> uh, that's that's me personally, but perform complicated dances on their hind legs in isolated areas in the moonlight. Ooh. Wow, that's you. That is. <laughs> and often leave intricate geometric patterns in wheat fields. Ravenclaw. Oh, this is such a Ravenclaw. Oh, Ravenclaw. Moon, moon. Ravenclaw. 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 Oh. I feed them all. The Zulu. It can teleport crazy distances. Yeah, that's true. It was sweet like a little kitty. Yeah, yeah. Distracted by yeah. the little. That's a that's a Gryffindor. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <was> like, oh. <laughs> but also like helped out like people uh -huh. that needed help, but also can like charge into action. Yeah. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Hippogriff. Ooh, OG beast. Ooh, hippogriff. Okay, okay, okay. Must bow. Ooh, Do okay. not disrespect okay. the people grief. Sorry, okay, bowing, bowing, bowing. Only let certain people ride on it. Is that just Slytherin? I mean, I that was like immediately my thought. Yeah, they got standards. Right, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Slytherin makes yeah. the most sense, right? Yeah. Slytherin! Slytherin! Phonix. Phoenix. <laughs> oh my god, I was like, a phone? What? Okay, Phoenix, Phoenix! Fox. Okay. Fox! I just want to say Gryffindor, but let's try to think of something yeah. else. Okay, uh, rebirth, like, lives reborn. forever. Rise from the ashes. So, like, it's a new day. Uh, <laughs> new body, new me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like because they're basically immortal, yeah. they can be as reckless as they want, you know? Uh, they're just like... I know, it's Diving in there, popping out basilisk guys, like... It's such a Gryffindor I'll come back me. to life, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know? Gryffindor! change like size mm -hmm. depending on adaptable. the object. I feel like it's more Ravenclaw because I feel like Ravenclaw is the most adaptable house. Uh, I selfishly agree. You know what I mean? <laughs> if there's like a little teapot, I'm gonna go inside of it. <laughs> yes! I get that. Right? Yes. If there's a small room, like we just make it work in the room. Yeah. I, I always love fitting into small places. <laughs> It's right? True. So I feel it's more Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. Also has wings. Fierce Kitty Nundu. Oh, you know Nundu facts. I know Nundu so much because Nundu was my Quidditch mascot when I was on the Quidditch team at NYU. Yes. Let me tell you something about Nundu. Yes. Because no one knows because it's in his case. It's thought to be the most deadly fantastic creature in existence Whoa. because it lives in East Africa. It's ginormous and it breathes disease and famine. What is it doing in his case? I don't know. Here's the math. It takes 10 wizards to control a dragon in Goblet of Fire, right? It's right. like per dragon, there's like 10 wizards being like, whoa, right. like holding it down. But Nundu takes 100. What? A hundred. Maybe, maybe Nude got this Nundu when it was like a baby maybe, and like yeah. raised it himself mm -hmm. or something. That's the only yeah. thing that I can imagine like I think it so. being in there. I, yeah, I don't think he'd have it unless it was right. a rescue, anyways. Right. So like it, he couldn't capture it himself. That's crazy. So that's like the most intense beast ever. Yeah. Does it like want to be evil or is it just evil? <sighs> I think it's like a leopard in mm. real life. You know, it, it's. Predator. Yeah. You think it's just a Gryffindor? Maybe. Yeah, I can see Gryffindor. Cause like, uh, when I was thinking it was hard to control, I feel like Gryffindors are like hard to control. Mm -hmm. Either that or I was thinking Slytherin. So I was between Gryffindor and Slytherin. Gryffindor! And that is it. Yeah! That's all the beasts it. that we're sorting today. If you disagreed with any of them, please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Know. Make your arguments and we'll 
see if we agree. <laughs> yes, we'll be reading the comments. Like I mentioned, we're doing this video because Fantastic Geeks and Where to Find Them is back on iTunes with new episodes. And we're starting this new thing called Be Our Guest. <laughs> so we have a bunch, every episode in this little section of the season is going to have a new special guest. And some of them are super exciting. Yay! So go check it out. Yes. Links are in the description. And uh, go check out the super weird video we just did on Tessa's channel. <laughs> It's gonna be fun! <laughs> Go watch it! If you haven't already made this far, subscribe, you might as well, and I'll see you next week with a brand new video. <laughs>